Hello, this is Trevor Lewis, and welcome to another video from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. In this video, we're going to loft a vase. So this is a really hard project to do in SketchUp, so don't spend a ton of time on this. Um, if you're not using SolidWorks, uh, this is really tough. It's the easiest pro pro project that we do with SolidWorks, but the hardest that we do with SketchUp, because SketchUp doesn't have a built-in loft feature. So here's one I lofted, this vase. So let's have a look on the inside of this vase. You can see that there's a double wall. You can see that it's. Tr I've been. Tr I tried to make it on uh, about the same thickness all the way around, but there is no shell feature either in SketchUp, so I had to do that manually as well. You can see there's a couple other shapes here I did. You can see each one of those lines in between I had to draw by hand. So you can see if you have the circles like that circular one in the back there, it's going to be a lot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by drawing um, some shapes. So you can use polygons or you can use a circle or the or the um, rectangle tool. I started with a polygon tool and then I typed 3S on the keyboard while I was drawing and I hit enter and it changed it from a six-sided shape to a three-sided shape. Okay. Now in order to get these vertical, um, it really helps to make these into groups. So I triple click and I right click and I choose make group because that'll lock it in place and so as I'm moving things around uh, they won't stick to each other. So I can move it around on the flat but if I go straight up in the, and I get, get that reference on the blue axis and then I tap control I can make a copy and then I click to place the copy. Um, while you're working like this you're gonna really want to make sure that you are moving a lot. I'm gonna use the uh, the rotate tool and I'm gonna find the center of my group and I'm gonna give it a little twist because I want my base to twist on the way up and uh, I think for the final part of my vase, I want it to get narrower at the top. So I'm going to draw a different shape. Um, if you are um, using these references, I'm going a little fast here. So ho hopefully you're able to keep up. But like I said, this is the toughest project. Don't feel bad if this doesn't work out for you. Um, here's the advantage of making a group. When I, when I triple click there, you see I only get the square because it's it's not automatically welding itself to the triangle even though it's touching the triangle because the triangle is its own group so I gotta find that blue line where it says on blue axis like that and I want to orbit and make sure that it's the right um, height and that they're not still in the same plane so now I can loft these things together but I'm gonna try and actually add an extra layer around the outside so I have to explode each one of these and what that means is it's unmaking my groups and that allows me to uh, use the offset tool. The offset tool will draw a line all the way around and you want to make sure that this is a reasonable thickness. Um, the numbers that I'm using here you'll find are actually a little bit too large uh, for 3D printing because you'll see later when we're done with this vase that this vase is maybe too big to fit inside of one of the 3D printers that we have at Voyager at least. Um, it's much bigger than these other things around it. So I'm offsetting each one of these a little bit on the outside and maybe a little bit thicker on the top there. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and there's a little jump ahead and I'm showing you right now that I was trying to move that center part up so there'd be a thickness on the bottom too, but I can't get it to go up. And the reason you can't get it to go up, I can't find that blue reference, it's only sliding back in space, is because I need to actually make a copy. So in order to do that, I can make a copy of that one. It, otherwise it doesn't want to move because it's stuck to that other triangle because there's no group there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to tap control on the keyboard to make a copy and then I should be able to find my on blue axis reference. And that'll allow me to move it up off the bottom because I need to have the inside bottom so that the bottom has a thickness. So there's the thickness that I'm going to have between, that's how thick the plastic's going to be, is between those two triangles that I've drawn. And I can get rid of the inset triangle on the bottom because I don't need that anymore. And I'll need to have a surface on this uh, triangle that I've raised up here, so I'm going to draw a line across and then erase the line that I drew um, because that will fill in the surface, but I don't actually need that line anymore, so just hit an erase on it. So now I've got that. So I'm going to connect that raised up triangle to the inner triangle up above and I'm going to do that one triangle at a time and since they're not groups I don't have to draw those those lines that are there they're just going to be reused and you can see there's the one triangle is dark gray and the other triangle is light I want them both to be dark now usually you want them to be light but these are actually on the inside of my vase so the dark faces towards the plastic 
if if you have plastic it's between two dark layers if there's not two dark layers like that then there's no inside and then the 3d printer doesn't know where to actually put the plastic so as i'm drawing these i want to make sure that they're the right colors now i'm drawing a little bit on the outside so you can see this one should be just the same as the one underneath it but just a little bit away so hopefully you're, you can kind of tell that there's a double layer here. Two gray faces face each other, and in between, that's where the plastic goes. So you want to make sure that you're catching the right references here. Zoom in if you need to. Um, it really helps to use a mouse if you have a mouse. Um, if you don't have a mouse, you have to be a lot more careful. I'm going to delete this part because I want to be able to see on the inside of my vase. And I'm also going to zoom in here, and I'm going to delete this surface because I don't need an interior surface in there. I want it to be like any part of my vase. If I just put a little bit of water on the inside of the vase, I should be able to roll that around and have it hit all the in inside parts of the vase um, in between the plastic walls. So let's reverse some more faces, and I'm just going to keep drawing for a while. So now there's the first layer done. You can see there's a thickness in between, and it's all set to go. Um, I need to offset this top one still. It's not offset, so let's offset it. I'm going to go back to the offset tool. It's underneath the push-pull tool. You want to make sure you have nothing selected, because you can see I had a, a face selected and I was trying to offset that face. So I'm offsetting. I'm going to go outwards. So one thing you want to make sure of is you want to make sure you do the inside part first, because if you do the outside part first, you're not going to be able to see what you're doing on the inside. Um, and you can see, because I've got triangle going to a square, I have some choices to make about which corners go where and how I form my triangles. Um, what's really important is that you follow the same choices on the outside layer as you do on the inside layer. Here's a good view of how tall my vase is. You can see it goes almost up to mid-thigh on my, my, my person for scale here. It's way too big to fit in my 3D printer. So you want to make yours a more reasonable size, or I can shrink it down on the 3D printer for you. So there's my inside done. So now to make this work, I want to be able to see on the inside here. So I'm going to switch to the select tool, click, and press delete on the keyboard to delete that phase. Oops, I deleted that phase too. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to reverse it because that's actually the top edge of my vase. So there, my whole interior is done. Now I'm going to do the exterior. Now let me show you what happens if you choose the wrong direction. So you can see, I'm going the wrong way here and you see my outside now triangle is going through my inside triangle and that's no good what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it so that you can't 3d print it so I just control Z to undo you always want to undo your mistakes in SketchUp it's a lot easier than trying to erase your way out of them usually alright so now I fully enclose my vase it should be good to go so I'm gonna triple click it and right click and make a group and I can check it with the solid inspector It says good news your model is a solid that means this it would be 3d printable if it was a reasonable size and my vase is all done um, like I said if this is taking you a really long time don't spend too much time on it this next tool right here I'm showing you this is the section plane tool it lets you look on the inside of things um, once you make a section plane, you got to use the move tool to move it up and down. So let's see, let's have a look. And then you can see this is how the 3D printer would actually 3D print things is from the bottom to the top. Um, and if you see those gray insides, that, the, that, that, that hollowness there, that's what would be filled in with plastic. So it fills in this part, then it leaves the inside hollow. And it's filling in, filling in all the way up. So you can see if things get too thin at any point there. But you should have a pretty constant thickness. Um, when you're done with your section plane, just select it and press delete on the keyboard to remove it. And that's a vase. Done.